All right, we're here with Joe Kemp, who spent his summer uh, with the, in the Marine Corps. Joe, talk about uh, how, why you spent your summer with the Marines. Uh, well, on May 28th to uh, July 8th, I was in Quantico, Virginia, training uh, to be United States Marine Corps officer at Marine Corps Base Quantico, Virginia. Uh, I did this for a number of reasons. Uh, biggest one for me is just for the opportunity just to serve my country, I think. Uh, at the end of the day, that's something that you can't, uh, you can't put a price tag on. I think that's something that a lot of people, I feel like, should have to go through. I think it changes you a lot uh, as a person. Uh, I'd say the second reason I went is just to try to teach myself a little more self-discipline, uh, a little more dedication. I, I'm always looking for ways that I can try to uh, improve myself as a person. I knew that that would be one of the best ways I could do that. Now, Joe, what did uh, what, what you learn from the experience? I definitely say what I learned from the experience is uh, one of the biggest things is uh, every single action that you do as a person, there will be a consequence for it now. It can be positive, it can be negative. You you are completely in control of that. And uh, other than that, I'd just say it's the attention to detail. Just uh, every single thing you do, you know, if you, if you don't do it 100%, then there there could be a negative consequence for it. You can do it right 99% of the time and it relates perfect over into the football world. You know, you, you can have 11 guys on the field on that offense doing the right thing, but if there's that one person that's not doing the right thing, then, then it could end up costing you. I think that's something I really learned uh, what real life consequences that can mean uh, when when you're in the Marine Corps and you're you're dealing with those in the in the, in the field, then those are gonna have real life consequences. So I think that's what I definitely learned. What were the parts you liked the most? Uh, I'd say the parts I liked the most is uh, freaking putting on the cami paint, getting dressed in full combat gear, and and going out and having fun field exercise and doing those type of things. I'm a, I'm a big outdoors type of guy. I love a, that exhilaration that you get by going out there and doing those type of things. So. Anything that had to do with uh, the, the physical part of it, getting outside and, and, and really doing the things that you think about you're going to do whenever you, you talk about joining the Marine Corps and stuff like that, those are things I definitely uh, definitely enjoyed. And then also just from a standpoint translating over to football, uh, I love the leadership aspect of it. I love knowing that I have you know control over uh, the outcome of a lot of things and I'm in charge of a lot of, a, a lot of guys and how their outcomes are going to be as well. I, I like that responsibility. Now, what was the toughest part of it? <laughs> I'd say the toughest part of it, uh, you know, a lot of people try to say coming into it that, oh, you know, you, you've been a football player, you've got football coach, you know what it's like to get yelled at. You don't know what it's like to get yelled at by sergeant instructors until you go there. Uh, you know, having someone yell at you at the top of their lungs while you're, you know, just trying to brush your teeth and you only got, you know, 20 or 30 seconds to do that is definitely something to get used to. But uh, besides that, uh, I, you know, it wasn't too bad. I really enjoyed pushing myself in a lot of the physical challenges though sometimes they might have got the better of me it, it, I used it all as a, as a learning tool so it was all in all a really good experience all right thanks Joe yes sir good sometimes I just